about what percentage of adult American females are taller than 5 feet 10 inches. In this lesson, you will learn how to find what percentage of the population falls within a certain interval by extending the empirical rule. First, let's review the characteristics of a normal distribution. Remember that a normal distribution is always going to be a symmetric, bell-shaped curve. And then within that curve, your mean will always fall directly in the center. And then the distribution should be balanced or symmetric on either side of the mean. Also recall that the empirical rule tells us that if you have a distribution that's approximately normal, then we can say that about 68% of the data will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. About 95% of the data will fall within two standard deviations of the mean and then almost all the data, or about 99.7%, will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. Now when looking at the empirical rule, you can see that it explicitly states 68%, 95%, and 99.7%. But a common misunderstanding is to think that the only percentages that can be determined from the empirical rule are the 68%, 95%, and 99.7%. That in fact is not true. The empirical rule is not just limited to those three percentages because you can apply the empirical rule to derive other percentages. For example, you could find the percent that falls between two and one standard deviations below the mean using the empirical rule. Or you could find the percentage that falls between one and three standard deviations above the mean by applying the empirical rule. So let's look at how to do that. Assume that adult American female heights are normally distributed with a mean of 65 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. So we can sketch our normal curve and we know that the mean of 65 inches will go directly in the center. And then if we start to apply the empirical rule, we know we need to go out one, two, and three standard deviations from the mean. So if we go out one standard deviation below and above, We'll subtract 2.5 inches and add 2.5 inches to the mean. And then we'll just keep doing that for two standard deviations away from the mean. And then finally to three standard deviations away from the mean. So suppose we want to find what percentage of females are taller than 5 feet 10 inches. Now since 5 feet 10 inches is equivalent to 70 inches, we want to look at the sections that are two standard deviations above the mean and greater. So you can see that we're looking at that yellow shaded section. We need to find what percentage falls in that area. Now we know from the empirical rule that about 95% of the data falls between two standard deviations below the mean to two standard deviations above the mean. Now since the entire distribution must represent all the population, including those who fall at the most extreme values that aren't shaded yet, then the remaining tails must add up to 5%, because 100% for everyone minus the 95% shaded in green, leaves 5% to be in those two tails. Now we can apply the fact that a normal distribution is symmetric. So this means that the percentage in the left tail must be the same as the percentage in the right tail. Therefore, each tail would represent about 2.5%, because 5% cut in half will give you 2.5. So we would estimate that about 2.5% of adult American females are taller than 5 feet 10 inches. So here's some tips that might be helpful when trying to extend the empirical rule. First of all, know whether the values in question are 1, 2, or 3 standard deviations away from the mean. Second, it might be helpful to have a visual of the normal curve. So you can sketch and shade the percentages that you know and then highlight the areas of the percentages that you still need to find. And then finally, remember that a normal distribution is always symmetric. So let's look at how to apply these tips to another example. What if we wanted to know what percentage of females are between 60 inches tall and 67.5 inches tall? So if we bring back our normal distribution of female heights, you can see that to answer this question, we need to find the percentage from two standard deviations below the mean to one standard deviation above the mean. Now if we're looking at that one standard deviation above the mean, we know that it's going to be captured in that 68% from the empirical rule, because 68% of our data falls closest to the mean. So you can see that we still need to find what percentage falls within that remaining yellow section. 
Now we know that section goes out to two standard deviations and so we know it will be captured in the 95% rule. Now since we know that 68% falls closest to the middle, then that means that 27% must make up the remaining tails of the 95%. So 27% of my data falls within those two green sections. Now you can again apply the fact that the distribution is symmetric. So each tail must be about 13.5%. Now you can see that adding the 13.5% to the 68% that we already knew from the empirical rule gives us a total of 81.5% in that range. So we would say that about 81.5% of adult American females have a height between 60 and 67 and a half inches tall. In this lesson, you learned how to find what percentage of the population falls within a certain interval by extending the empirical rule.